Good day, Golf Pie. Today is Friday, October 27, 2023. I am Marcus. And I'm Yakira, coming to you from WBUC Studios with your school news. The word of the day is extraneous, which is an adjective that describes something that does not form a necessary part of something else. Can you use that in a sentence, Yakira? I sure can, Marcus. Bilbin kept bringing up extraneous facts during the interview. And now for today's weather forecast. The weather is staying consistent with temperatures in the mid to upper 80s with no rain in the near future. Today we will reach a high of 88 degrees with a low of 69 degrees and a 0% chance of rain. Enjoy the weather and have a great weekend, Bucks. In 1904, New York City subway opens. In 2004, Red Sox in first championship since 1918. In 1858, Theodore Roosevelt is born. And in 2006, Chick-fil-A founder takes last four Taurus. In current news, Treasure Island Sunset Beach prepares to open for the first time since Hurricane Adalia. Bay Area Company Kits retrofits cars into electric vehicles. SeaWorld Orlando reveals more details for Penguin Shrek Coaster. And Disney shares first look at Haunted Mansion Bar for Disney Treasure Ship. Here's the joke of the day. How do you clean a tuba? Stay tuned to the end of the news for the answer. This week is Red Ribbon Week. As we encourage everyone to be drug free, check out this video for more information. Hi, Ashley here with Your Choice. Let's face it, it seems like all teens are drinking, vaping, using marijuana and other substances, and sometimes it's hard to say no. Today we're gonna to share with you five strategies on how you can say no to peer pressure. Sometimes it's just as simple as saying no. You can just use something that's important to you, like your car, to just say no. No, if my parents find out that I'm drinking, they're going to take away my car, and how the heck are we going to get around? 
Use your parents as an excuse. If you're involved in any sports or activities or clubs, you can always use that as an excuse to say no. So I heard Kyle's having a party tonight. Are you coming? Oh, I can't. I gotta get up early for a horse show. Even if your parents don't drug test you, it's a great excuse to use when you don't want to use a substance. Did you want to hit on my dad pen? No, my parents drug test me. I can't. If you like this video, please uh, click the like button and hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this. For more information on prevention and preventing substance use, please visit our website at www.yourchoiceprevention.org. Please support the Golf High Band this Saturday as they perform at the Tartan Springs Outdoor Music Festival. Come out and cheer on the band to a superior rating. Girls basketball tryouts are taking place October 30th and 31st from 2 to 4.30 p.m. For more information, please contact Coach Ruffin. Boys basketball tryouts will take place on October 30th and 31st from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. For more information, please contact Coach Coop. Are you wondering how you will get your accommodations at a, the college level? Have you heard of the vocational rehabilitation but are not sure how they assist with getting you a job? Or maybe you just want to register to vote or find out what you need to get a Florida State ID or a driver's license. Paso County Schools will be holding a transition night at JW Mitchell High School on November 8th from 6.30 to 8 in the school gymnasium. There will be over 30 local agencies in attendance to assist students with IAPs and 504s with identifying services and supports that can assist them now and after they leave Pasco County Schools. Please visit JW Mitchell School. Please visit J.W. Mitchell website for more information. The American Sign Language Club, also known as the ASL Club, will start on Wednesday, November 1st from 11.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. in the chorus room. Please contact Ms. Downing for more information. So, how do you clean a tuba? With a tuba toothpaste. That's all for our news. Have, Have a, a great, great National, National Black, Black Cat, Cat Day, Day Golf High. Welcome to October 27th on the National Day calendar. It appears that the myths surrounding black cats as bad luck and bringers of doom is relatively new. This bad rap is associated with the puritanical view of witches and their supernatural pets. Starting in the 12th century, folks believed that a witch could transform into a black cat nine times. This is probably where their reputation for multiple lies begin, too. But well before that, the ebony-coated feline was a sign of good luck. From ancient Egypt to Old England, Scotland and Japan, black cats were thought of as a symbol of good fortune. They were even given as a wedding present for hundreds of years. On National Black Cat Day, break with superstition and find yourself some good feline fortune. I'm Marlo Anderson with the National Day Calendar. See you again tomorrow as we celebrate every day.